Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. As you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. It's who is first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Goes to the body with the knee. Connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Came with inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. <laughs> oh, man. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. 
Just over three minutes to go, round one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Checks the leg kick. Big kick lands. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Lands the right hand. range with that kick attempt. Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. Under a minute to go. Big kick lands. He blocks the punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Round two next. Oh. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach yells, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Lee's knee to the body. That one was blocked. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Take again. Again. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Caught that kick there. Able to check the high kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. What a tricky head kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big punch lands over the top. I'll give the follow this Over and over, he's landed in big body kick. Separate. Lands flush with that right hand. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, 
Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Seconds winding down in round two. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, here we go with our next round. Shades of Tony Ferguson in the previous round. It's hard to hit a moving target, and he wasn't stationary at all. It's never stationary. His head movement just flows. It's not that he's standing still, head still, and then all of a sudden he moves left, or he moves right. It's constantly just bobbing and weaving a little bit. He's like an old school grandfather clock, where he's just moving left to right, left to right. It's never stationary, so you never truly can get a bead on where the target is gonna be. Look at you dropping a grandfather clock. I'm an old Look guy, man. I'm an old guy. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Just missed with the left there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Powerful leg kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. And there's that inside leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, it comes eye kicking. Then you're in a lot of trouble. And they separate. Oh, big head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he landed the right hand there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Change gears here. The striking game isn't looking too sharp right now. Let's play the grappling game. You gotta protect yourself. Keep your hands high. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good not Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. 
beautiful hand skills here, the right and the left. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Not there. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Big kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Trying to kick the leg out. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice loop and punch. Under a minute to go in round four. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Big head kick land. Try to establish that jab. Big leg kick land. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway here, and clearly these guys put in the right work during training camp when it comes to the card. You can tell that cardio and conditioning was the focus. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Just misses there with the left. Oh, it looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's gonna get his hand raised tonight. He's gotta go forward. He's gotta just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's gonna end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Whoa! Whoa! This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. 
He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, nice. Oh, big left hook there. What a punch. Kick land. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Another shot lands upstairs. What a body kick. What a fight. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 50-45, and 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance tonight.